Intel's 7th generation core KB Lake processors are less than a year old, being introduced in January this year. But their replacement is already here. The launch of the new 8th generation core Coffee Lake has been brought forward significantly due to increased competition in the CPU market, with AMD offering some very compelling Ryzen processors. Thanks to the schedule change, Coffee Lake processors will get a staggered release, with six CPUs being released now along with one chipset, the Intel Z370, with more CPUs and chipsets to follow early next year. Unusually for a new generation of CPU, there aren't a whole lot of architectural differences between KB Lake and Coffee Lake. Instead, Intel has focused its R&D efforts on squeezing in more cores, with a significant jump of between 50% and 100% more cores depending on the model. Like the current 7th Gen Core KB Lake processors, the new 8th Gen Core Coffee Lake processors use the Socket 1151 packaging and as you can see from the outside, they look more or less identical. However, as the new chips consume more power than their predecessors, Intel has changed the pinout of the socket. This means you can't just slot an 8th gen CPU into a 7th gen motherboard. It simply won't boot and your precious new hardware may be damaged. This means that to use an 8th gen CPU, you'll need a new motherboard based on the Intel Z370 chipset. Unfortunately, this doesn't add any features over the existing Z270 chipset, so there's still no native support for USB 3.1 or any more PCIe lanes. Either way, if you want to upgrade to an 8th gen CPU now, you'll have no choice but to buy a Z370 motherboard. The initial lineup of 8th gen processors includes 6 models, 2 Core i7s, 2 Core i5s and 2 Core i3s, with 1K SKU which has an unlocked multiplier for easy overclocking per family. In this tech spec we're going to take a closer look at the new 8th gen Core Coffee Lake processors to find out how good they really are. As per the table on screen, the new 8th gen Core i7s feature 6 cores. The first time that Intel has squeezed this many cores into its mainstream Z platform, and a 50% increase over the previous generation's 7th gen CPUs, which were quad-core processors and are shown on the right. As a result, the new 8th gen CPUs also have more cache than 7th gen CPUs, although the proportion per core, 2 megabytes, remains the same. The extra cores do come at a cost, however, with a significant drop in clock speed, with the new 8700K running at 3.7 GHz versus the 4.2 GHz of the previous Gen 7700K. Price-wise, the new 8th Gen CPUs are very similar to the 7th Gen CPUs, so it'll be very interesting to see how their performance compares. To see what this trade-off between clock frequency and cores means in real-world terms, we benchmark the 8700K head-to-head -head with the 7700K, plus the similarly priced AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. All three CPUs we tested using the same overall configuration, comprising of 16GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4, EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics card and a Corsair H100i Hydra Cooler. The performance results were very interesting, with the older 7700K outpacing the newer 8700K, while editing photos using GIMP, with the 1700X taking last place. This is because GIMP is a single-threaded application and the 7700K has the highest frequency. The rankings were reversed when encoding H.264 videos using Handbrake, with the 1700X taking pole position, followed by the 8700K, with the 7700K coming in last. What's interesting in this test is that while the 8700K doesn't manage to outpace the 1700X, it has narrowed the performance gap considerably compared to the laggard 7700K. We saw a similar spread of results in 3D rendering in Cinebench R15, with Intel's new 6-core 8700K CPU still struggling to beat AMD's 8-core 1700X but posting much better performance than the quad-core 7700K. Meanwhile, both of Intel's CPUs still have the edge in the 3D Mark Firestrike Gaming benchmark, 
thanks to the higher IPC of the underlying architecture versus the 1700X. Overall, we were very impressed by the performance gains delivered by the Core i7-8700K, and despite it running at a lower clock speed than the Core i7-7700K, it was noticeably faster in most scenarios. That said, with more cores at its disposal, the Ryzen 7 1700X still has the edge in some heavily multi-threaded applications. However, for a gaming PC, the 8700K is far superior. In fact, the 8700K is so good, it makes the expensive Core i7-7800X, which has 6 cores running at 3.5GHz and requires a much more expensive X299 motherboard, rather redundant. This is even more true when you consider how overclockable the Core i7-8700K is. With our sample happily running benchmarks at 5GHz, a massive step up from the 3.7GHz base frequency. For instance, when overclocked, the 8700K posted a brilliant Cinebench score of 1660 and 3D Mark score of 20505, both of which are record breakers for a mainstream CPU. As you can see on the table on screen, like the two new 8th gen Core i7s, the two new 8th Core i5s have been upgraded from 4 cores to 6 cores, a hefty 50% increase over the previous generation 7th gen CPUs, which are shown on the right. As a result, the new 8th gen CPUs also have more cache than 7th gen CPUs, although the proportion per core, 1.5 MB, is effectively the same. This means that like the new Core i7s, the new Core i5s run at a lower clock speed, with the new 8600K running at 3.6GHz versus the 3.8GHz of the previous gen 7600K. As per normal Intel strategy, the main difference between Core i7 and Core i5 is the removal of hyper-threading support in the latter, plus a little less cache. Price-wise, the new 8th gen CPUs are very similar to the 7th gen CPUs, so it'll be very interesting to see how their performance compares. Like the Core i7-8700K, we benchmarked the 8600K head-to-head -head with its direct predecessor, the 7600K, plus the similarly priced AMD Ryzen 5 1600X. All three processors were benchmarked using the same overall configuration, comprising of 16GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4, EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics and a Corsair H100i hydrocooler. The performance results were very interesting and followed the same overall pattern as the Core i7s, with the older 7600K nipping past the newer 8600K with the 1600X taking last place whilst editing photos using GIMP. This is because GIMP is a single-threaded application and the 7600K has the highest frequency. Like with the Core i7s, the rankings were reversed when encoding H.264 videos using Handbrake, with the 1600X taking gold, followed by the 8600K taking silver and the 7600K bronze. Again, whilst the 8600K didn't quite manage to unseat the 1600X, it has narrowed the performance gap considerably compared to the comparatively slow 7600K. We saw a similar spread of results in 3D rendering in Cinebench R15, with the 8600K positioned midway between the 1600X and the 7600K. Like with the Core i7s, both of Intel's Core i5s have the edge in the 3D Mark Firestrike gaming benchmark, thanks to the higher IPC of their underlying architecture versus the Zen architecture inside the 1700X. Like the 8th gen Core i7, we were very impressed by the performance gains delivered by the Core i5-8600K, and despite it running 200MHz slower than the Core i5-7600K, it was noticeably faster in most scenarios. Just as with the more expensive CPUs, the Ryzen 5 1600X is faster than the 8600K in heavily multi-threaded applications. However, for a gaming PC, the 8600K is a better choice. 
And just like the more expensive Core i7 8700K, the Core i5 8600K also has a lot of overclocking potential, with our sample happily running benchmarks at 5GHz and massive step up from the 3.6GHz base frequency. Such a big overclock ensures a healthy performance boost, increasing the Cinebench score from 1042 to 1263, and 3D Mark score from 18390 to 19544. These are great achievements for a mid-priced CPU, and show that whether you're into gaming or need the extra cores for a bit of content creation, the Core i5-8600K is well worth considering. As with the more expensive CPUs, the two new 8th Gen Core i3s have been given a massive upgrade, in this case going from two physical cores to four. They do lose out on hyperthreading support, but a physical core delivers far greater performance than a virtual hyperthreading core. And with double the physical cores, the new 8th Gen Core i3s will be much faster than their predecessors. As with the Core i5s and Core i7s, there are two 8th Gen Core i3s. The 8350K, which can be overclocked, and the 8100, which is locked down. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to test either CPU in time for this video. However, the specs suggest performance similar to a 7th Gen Core i5, which given how much cheaper the 8th Gen Core i3s are, should make them a great deal. Hopefully, like the higher-end CPUs, the 8350K will also be a good overclocker too, as a quad-core CPU that overclocks well for under £200 is very compelling. 2017 has been the most interesting year in CPUs for nearly a decade, with increased competition between Intel and AMD leading to increased innovation, shorter product cycles and lower prices. The 8th Gen Intel Core launch is the latest example of this trend, with six new processors being launched that offer much greater performance than their predecessors. At the top end of the range, the new 6-core i7s, especially the 8700K, are a real treat, offering fantastic performance in both lightly threaded games and heavily multi-threaded content creation applications. The more affordable Core i5s, such as the 8600K, are compelling too, having also been upgraded from 4 cores to 6. These new CPUs are also eminently overclockable, which should alleviate any concerns you have about the comparatively low base frequency. If anything, the new Core i3s are even more attractive, as for the first time you can get four physical cores for well under £200, with the 8350K offering overclocking too. The only real downer for the new 8th Gen Core CPUs is that they require a new motherboard based on the Z370 chipset, so you can't upgrade your existing PC to 8th Gen. That aside, all three K-SKU Core i3, i5 and i7 are well worth shortlisting for your next upgrade. Alternatively, why not consider letting 3XS Systems build you an awesome new 8th Gen Core PC?